Hi, I'm Ralph Conklin. We're here to talk about data center cooling, whether to retrofit it or replace it as it ages. There are many considerations. Making the best decision will be based in part on how you answer questions like these. How old is your equipment? How reliable is it? What are your capacity needs, near term and in the future? What's your tolerance for a service interruption? What are you spending on maintenance? What will it cost to retrofit versus replace? and what's your payback period. Let's take a look at a common scenario, one involving older equipment with a planned replacement schedule. The cooling units are 15 years old and you'd like to replace them within five years. Until then, you consider an upgrade strategy, if you could recoup your investment between now and then. The question you face is, will an upgrade today give you the best option for payback? Let's take a look at some factors. Upgrading your units with EC fans or variable speed drives, new controls, and adding containment will substantially improve efficiency and reliability. A two-year payback is likely, and that approach would give you an additional energy savings and more reliable performance within the remainder of your five-year window. But consider this. Even though these improvements extend the life of your equipment, you will eventually want to replace them within the next 10 years. What if you could increase efficiency and performance enough to justify replacing the units today? Given recent advances in cooling and controls technologies, that's a very reasonable proposition. Let's look at the numbers. With newer cooling technologies that provide free cooling throughout much of the year, your annual energy consumption could be cut by almost 70%. We'll start with a base case of older Liebert Deluxe System 3 units. We'll consider a one megawatt data center cooled by 17 of these older units. Replacing these units with the ultra-efficient Liebert DSE free cooling system and adding system controls and aisle containment could drop your annual energy cost by over $330,000. Plus, you could qualify for an energy rebate, which would average around 25% of equipment costs. And your annual maintenance costs would drop as well because you go from needing 17 units to only 10. Your PUE would drop from 1.53 to just 1.16. These energy savings and the rebate against the equipment and installation cost would yield a very favorable payback period under four years. If you don't have the capital to spend on purchasing right away, then there's another great option, leasing. It spreads out your cost and the savings start immediately. This is just one favorable scenario for upgrading. I invite you to view our other videos as well to see how upgrades or replacements can provide fast paybacks in different situations. For more on cooling system upgrades, visit our website.